Shabbat Shalom, and welcome to 5 Minutes of Torah with the Beth Israel Rabbi. This coming Shabbat, we read the double Torah portion of Parshiot Achremot Kedoshim. In the midst of this Torah reading, we begin what is known as the Holiness Code, a series of laws meant to bring holiness into this world and to lead us as the Jewish people on a path of holiness. In the midst of these laws, the Torah tells us that we are to fulfill each of the laws and commandments of the Holy Torah in order to ensure, as the text says, the Chaybahem, that we shall live by them. There is a possibility of understanding this particular line in many different ways. For example, in his modern commentary from the Jewish Publication Society, Baruch Levine explains that, first of all, you can understand this particular line as that you shall live by them, meaning that you should live your lives in accordance with the laws and the commandments of the Torah. That's one possibility. Another possibility is that by living by them, it literally means that if you follow the laws of the Torah, that you will remain alive in this world, that they will give you life. That's a second understanding. A third understanding is one which is a rabbinic understanding and interpretation that if you follow the laws and the rules and the mitzvot, the commandments of the Torah, that you will continue to live beyond this world in Olam Abba, in the world to come. But there's another interpretation that many of us use of the Chaybahem, of you shall live by them, that is very well known, especially these days. And that is that you are to make sure to live, you are to do all that you can to protect your health and to go as far as breaking other mitzvot, other commandments and laws for the sake of your own health. As the Torah tells us, the rabbis understand this as, for example, the kuach nefesh dochei shabbat that the saving of a life overrides even the Sabbath. And thus, if the saving of a life overrides the Sabbath, then kol v'chomer, all the more so, the kuach nefesh, the saving of a life is a guiding principle for all of us as Jews and as human beings throughout our lives. Today, in the face of COVID-19, today, in the face of this virus, of this illness, which has already claimed the lives of too many people in the world, we understand the importance of Pekuach Nefesh. We understand the importance of saving a life and doing all that we can in order to keep ourselves and others healthy to do all that we can to ensure that we save lives. It is extremely important that we follow the mandates of Torah, which tells us to follow the mandates of our governments in order to ensure that we save lives. But I want to say that there was a very disturbing event this past week an event in which a large group of Jews remembered a rabbi who had passed away in New York, actually from COVID-19, and joined together in a way that actually broke the New York state and city laws of physical distancing for the sake of his funeral. But the mayor of New York, de Blasio, called out not just that particular group, but the entire Jewish community and said that the Jewish community 
needs to be careful. Unfortunately, in a time of rising anti-Semitism, especially in New York, and especially knowing historically that viruses have led to even more anti-Semitism in the world, this was very disturbing and completely wrong. Yes, the mayor should have called out this group. Yes, the mayor should have reminded them of the law of Pekuach Nefesh, of saving a life. But he never should have called out the entire Jewish community, certainly increasing the possibility of anti-Semitism. I, as others, call on him to apologize and to remember that today we as a Jewish community not only face the challenges of COVID-19, but the rise of anti-Semitism as well. Shabbat Shalom.